Hey guys, this is Mike, aka CoolBHO3K, and I have here a Sprint Evo 3D, and HTC said they were going to unlock the bootloader of this, uh, actually a couple months back, but it's been a couple weeks after launch, and they still haven't released an update to unlock the bootloader. And that would enable us to do things like flash custom kernels, and ROMs, and overclock. Well, I said I don't want to wait for HTC. I want a faster phone now. So uh, I've managed to overclock this Evo 3D from the stock 1.2 gigahertz to, as you can see here, almost 1.8 gigahertz. Um, I'm going to actually round that up to 1.8 gigahertz because the stock speed is actually 188 megahertz, and Qualcomm does round that up. So let's just call this an even 1.8 gigahertz. Um, so let's see what this means in terms of performance and benchmarks. Let's first test the before setting, one, uh, 1.2 gigahertz in SmartBench. How this is done is using a kernel module, uh, which only requires temp root. Big thanks to Team Win, by the way, for finding a temp root solution for the Evo 3D and Sensation. And yes, this tweak will work on the Sensation. I do not have a Sensation on hand, uh, so I can't compile the kernel for that, but any dev who knows how to compile kernel modules will be able to uh, compile a kernel module for the Sensation to overclock it to this speed and the speed is selectable. You can select anything from the stock 1.2 gigahertz up to 1.8 gigahertz or above if your device is better than mine. And so on the stock speeds we get about 2532 in uh, productivity index and 1512 in games in index. Now let's just put that up to 1782 megahertz, 1.8 megahertz, test it again. Uh, clicked on that. All right, let's see the results for the overclock speed. So we didn't see much of an increase in the productivity index, which is now 2629, but the games index is uh, improved by quite a bit to 2067. Uh, you will see a better increase in things like Linpack for, an, uh, for Android and the Chrome V8 benchmark, which is in the browser. We'll check those out right now. So at the stock speed in Linpack, using the multi-threaded test, we get about 60 to 70 megaflops, if I recall correctly. Yeah, it's around the low 60s, mid 60s. Huh, even a low 70. But if we put this up to 1.7 gigahertz, or 1.8, as we round up, we get in the low 90s even, or the low from the low 80s to the low 90s. I found that the Evo 3D doesn't really benchmark really consistently, whether it's on stock or overclocked. So we, we just saw 75 there. But you never see the faster speeds on the stock speed. All right, let's try the let's try something new. Let's try the Chrome V8 benchmark. 
Gotta refresh the page to start the benchmark. Let's see what it gets at stock speeds. Now, a higher number is better for the V8 benchmark. So at stock speeds, we get about 356. You can see the sub scores here if you want. And uh, now we'll return and we'll drop it up to 1.8 gigahertz and set CPU. So our score improved pretty dramatically, now it's 481. So you're going to see an improvement in JavaScript execution in the browser and probably overall browser performance. Um, the phone certainly is snappier at this speed. Um, thanks for watching and uh, please bother HTC and tell them to unlock the bootloader soon uh, because it took me about, I don't know, three days of straight work to figure out how to do this, uh, whereas if the bootloader were unlocked and if we had kernel sources, then uh, this would have taken me a couple hours at the most. Um, yeah, so that's the Evo 3D overclocked to 1.8 GHz. Thanks for watching, guys.